I made this chest set over a year ago, including the board, but it finally happened. I lost one of the chest pieces. Yeah, that's right. This pawn is missing. Now, if this was a store-bought set, that would be a real big thing. But because I made this set with the 3D printer, this is not going to be a big deal to be able to replace this one pawn. Well, yes, it finally happened. After having this chess set now for over a year, and numerous people have been playing it from the grandkids to the adults, we finally lost a piece. Now, my guess is during the Christmas season when we were opening the gifts and we had all that gift wrapping paper around, somehow when we picked up that paper, that pond probably went into the trash with that paper. But that's really no big deal. The nice thing about having a chess set like this, if you lose a piece, you can always print another one. And that's what I did. I keep all of my 3D print files on this one thumb drive. And that makes it so much easier to be able to find the file and print a new piece. So I'm going to open up the Elegoo Cura software and be able to download this file so I can print it. When I open this file up, you can see the USB drive D. And right here is the 3D print folder. So all I need to do is just scroll down and find the file folder for the spiral chest set. I can open up the files and look down and sure enough, there's my pawn right there. So that's the file that I'm going to open up in the Kira software. And when I do that, there it sits right there in the center, ready to be able to print. Now I'm gonna take a look at the different settings and I'm gonna make a couple adjustments and I'm going to have this printer set up now to be able to print this file. It's going through the process now of heating up the bed and also the print head is still not at temperature. It was at the 170 degrees so that I could load in a different color filament. I have the blue in there to match the chest piece that is missing. And you can see it really doesn't take long to heat up. It's at 50 degrees. It has to get to 60. This piece is going to take 53 minutes to be able to print. And quite frankly, that's really not that long. Okay, the bed now has heated up to the 60 degrees. And the next thing is the uh, print head itself. It needs to be able to increase the temperature now to the 200 degrees. And you can see it's rapidly heating up at this point. Once this heats up, then I'll be ready to actually print the piece. The nice thing about the Elegoo printer is when it's all ready and it's heated up, it goes through its own homing cycle and identifies exactly where it is and it sets the Z height. So all of this is done in the Kira software and I don't really have to do anything. It will print out just a little stream here to kind of get the print head flowing and then it'll move over back to the center of the bed and start printing this pawn. Now in the first time I printed this set, I printed it using a brim and I do not do that anymore. This is actually printing out a skirt, so that actually does not touch the pond itself. And I actually like that method better. One of the nice features that I like is I can actually select and turn on the headlight and the observation light. So that gets light right down onto the subject and I can see exactly what's happening. And you can see everything printing. And this piece does not need supports because of the way the angles are. It has enough support, so that is not necessary. And that was a mistake I had made in the beginning too. On one of the first pieces, I added the supports in there and realized it was not necessary. So that makes for a very clean print and there's no cleanup at all. I'm gonna turn off the observation light and the headlight and let this continue to print. I'll put a link in the description below to the original video where I showed exactly how I set everything up to print this chess set. But at this point, the chess piece is finished. It just pops right off and it looks absolutely fantastic. And you notice there's no real cleanup on this at all. The skirt is still sitting on the printer and like I said, it does not touch this pawn at all. So now I'll go back over to the chessboard and put this brand new piece on the board and it was as if it was never missing at all. That way when the kids come back over, we'll be ready to play chess again. This really takes the frustration out of the possibility of losing a store-bought set 
that frustration is eliminated. If you do lose a piece, just print another one. Well, thanks a lot for watching this short video today. And you can see just how easy it is when you have a printer that you can replace the piece. You don't have to sweat. You don't have to worry about having to get a whole brand new chest set again. All you need to do is just print that one piece that's missing and you're back in business again. And the kids and the adults are ready to play chess again. And quite frankly, it was a lot of fun because yes, things happen, pieces will get missing. And this way you have an easy way to be able to just print out a new one. So if you like this short video, by all means, give me a thumbs up, subscribe right down there below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye everyone.